Hey, I just want to let you know that this video is part of a larger course called Operating Systems 101 on CyberTrainingPro.com. So if you enjoy the content, you want to see the rest of the course, or you want to see other courses that we have or our career services, make sure to check out CyberTrainingPro.com. I'll leave a link in the description so you can check it out. All right, let's get started. In this lab, we're going to be setting up something called Active Directory, which allows you to centralize the management of services, security policies, user management, and all kinds of other things within a Windows environment. So it's crucial that you understand how to do this. We're going to start off with a few dependencies, so things that you absolutely have to have in order for this to work. First of all, you need an existing installation of the Windows Server 2022 operating system if you want to follow along with us step by step. You also need administrator login credentials. So the first step is you need to log into your server and you need the server manager dashboard. From here, we're going to select manage and then we're going to select add roles and features. And just so you can see that we don't have it installed already, on the left here of the server manager, this is where all of your services, roles, features, things like that are going to be populated. And as you can see, we don't have anything that says Active Directory. So on this pop-up window, this is just going to give you some initial information about what you're doing. And that's fine. We're going to go ahead and hit Next. We're going to select Role-Based or Feature-Based Installation. Now you have to select your server. So we're going to select the server that we're logged into. We'll hit Next. Now you need to select Active Directory Domain Services. So we'll go ahead and check that box. This will tell you exactly what's being installed. So it's going to install a few different things to help you operate this. So we will hit Add Features. And now we'll hit Next. On this Features window, we don't need to add anything additional in order to do this. So we'll go ahead and hit Next. On this screen, it's telling you a little bit more about Active Directory Domain Services. And you can also hook this up with the cloud, but we're not going to do any of that. And we're just going to hit Next. All right, so this is telling us what we're going to install. We're going to go ahead and check this box that says Restart the Destination Server Automatically if required. And we're going to allow automatic restarts for this. So we'll hit Yes. Now, if you wanted to export the configuration settings, you could do that. We're not going to do that for this installation, though. So we'll go ahead and hit Install. This is going to go ahead and install our Active Directory domain services. And once this is finished, then we'll check back in. All right, so this says installation succeeded, so we'll go ahead and hit close. Now, if your server does not automatically restart, you need to go ahead and perform a restart first. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. Are you tired of overpaying for cybersecurity training? Are you interested in training from industry professionals? Are you looking for cybersecurity career services? If you answered yes to any of those questions, then CyberTrainingPro.com is the perfect platform for you. At CyberTrainingPro, we're a one-stop shop for all your cybersecurity needs. We can train you for industry certifications or just improve your overall knowledge and skills in a certain area. Unlike other platforms, we don't stop there. We can also coach you throughout your career, practice your interview skills, or create a high-performing resume with our career services. CyberTrainingPro.com isn't just another training platform. Students get exclusive access to our private community where we go beyond training courses to provide additional content, tips and tricks, and engagement with both other students and staff. Look, by the year 2025, there could be as many as 3.5 million job openings in cybersecurity. With so much opportunity, why not maximize your career potential with a platform that cares about your success? Come join us at CyberTrainingPro.com and start building your future today. All right, so when you restart and you log back in, you'll see in the server manager that you have this notification up here. So we'll go ahead and click on that. And you need to actually promote the server to a domain controller. So we're going to go ahead and select that option. And a domain controller is basically the main server running that domain that you're setting up. In this video, we're not going to talk about forests and domains and that whole architecture of how Active Directory works. But for this video, we're going to add a new forest. And we're going to call this demo.lab. And then we'll hit next. A quick note just about the forests and domains. Basically, the forest is a large infrastructure, and the domains can be sub areas of that infrastructure. So, for the functional levels, we're going to leave those the same. Basically, that is a compatibility feature. So, if you had older operating systems, you could definitely select that operating system in there. If we do the drop down, you can see there's 2012, 2008, 
So there's a few different options that you could do. We're going to leave it at 2016 for our installation. And then you need to select a directory services restore mode password or a DSRM password. This is a really important password. So in a normal environment, in an organization, in an enterprise, you would definitely want to secure this password, have it written down and stored just in case you needed it. And we'll hit next. And then we're going to go ahead and hit next on this screen as well. The NetBIOS domain name is used to reference your domain. So for example, if you're trying to log into a computer that's connected to your domain, your username would be demo slash your username. So this comes from earlier where we filled out demo.lab. So we will leave that and we'll hit next. We're going to leave these locations as the default. So we'll hit next. This gives us a review of all the settings that we're trying to configure. You can also get the script for this. So if you wanted to actually complete this using things like PowerShell, and you totally can. We're not going to do that for this installation. So we're going to hit next. And this is going to run through a prerequisites check to make sure that we've done everything that we need to do. All right. So it says that we passed all the prerequisite checks. And if we scroll down here, we can see that as well. And we're going to hit install. Once this is done installing, we'll check back in. All right, so this is going to automatically restart our system. So we'll hit close. And then we'll hit close on here as well. Now we need to log into the domain. So as you can see, we have demo slash administrator because now we're logging into a domain connected computer. Keep in mind, it's the same password. It hasn't changed, but now we're logging into the domain. If you remember back to when we first started, on the left of Server Manager, you didn't have anything that said Active Directory. Now you do. You also have some tools that are for Active Directory domain services. Congratulations. You've set up your first forest and domain.